Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So yes, today we're actually going to be building a full-on like community lot instead of just an apartment because yeah, I know recently I've mostly been doing smaller builds like apartments and stuff. But yeah, last week I had a really big burst of inspiration to get some building done. So I did a little bit of building in Brindleton Bay. And yeah, this is actually for my save file. So it's for my rebuild Brindleton Bay project for my save file. And it's actually a kind of like a rebuild of the bar in Brindleton Bay of the Salty Paws Saloon. I think is what it is what it's what it was called. <laughs> So yeah, basically I rebuilt the bar, I completely bulldozed it and built my own version of it, kind of. I don't want to say it's my version of it because it's completely different from the original, I didn't like renovate it or anything like that. But basically I just wanted to keep this lot as a bar lot so that it could be something that your sims could come and, you know, do in the world. And also just because it felt like it made a lot of sense to be like right on the docks of Brindleton Bay in this like in my head Brindleton Bay is like a small-ish fishing village type of thing so yeah they would definitely have a bar on like right by the water on the docks so yeah we have that and this lot can also function as a restaurant so there's a fully functional like restaurant kitchen at the front and then there's obviously a bunch of Different seating areas that also kind of like part of the bar but it could function as a perfectly fine like restaurant if that's something that you wanted to do in case you didn't want it to be like a bar lot in case you wanted to be a restaurant then yeah that's definitely something you can do. I didn't set up a custom menu or anything like that. I might actually do that before I upload the build to the gallery. I'll just change the lot type to a menu set up like not change it to a menu change it to a restaurant and set up a menu sorry guys if i'm like a little bit all over the place i haven't done a voiceover in like a week if, in case you haven't been keeping up with the channel or anything like that i've kind of been not really taking a break from youtube because i have still been working on stuff i just haven't been posting as much a lot of it has been behind the scenes stuff but basically, I haven't recorded a video since like last, not last, not even last Friday, but like the, f I basically I uploaded last Monday and I recorded the voiceover for that video the Friday before that. So it's been a while. It's been like a week and a half or something since I've recorded a voiceover. And in case you didn't know, doing voiceovers is definitely a skill that you learn over time. It's not something that you're going to be like excellent at like like right off the bat and it's definitely something that you can forget how to do so yeah you can fall out of practice with it like really really easily and it always happens to me whenever i like post like maybe like only one video a week whenever i do like just one video a week i always feel like i'm out of practice every single time i do a voiceover so yeah that's a little bit of a <laughs> fun thing to deal with but basically I don't know what I was talking about before I went off on a tangent something about the yeah oh yeah so I was going to upload I'm going to upload two versions of this lot to the gallery I'll also have both versions like linked down below in the description to like the gallery website if you want to download them and obviously I will also have the tray files up for channel members on the community tab once the video is out obviously but yeah, so I'll upload two versions to the gallery. I'll upload a version that's basically a bar lot. And then I'll upload a version that's a restaurant that also has, you know, all of the like staff uniforms set as well as a custom menu and all of that stuff. So yeah, there's two versions. If you want to like download either one or both and just swap them out, then that's something you could easily do. So yeah, I'll do that for you guys. But yeah, so back to the build. So Basically, I wanted this build to look like it belonged on the docks. So I didn't want it to make it, I didn't want to make it too fancy or too like upscale, if that makes sense. I wanted it to look like it's been here for decades. And I wanted to make it look like it's been, you know, in the town. It's been, maybe it's like owned by one of the locals or something like that. And it's just, it's been in the town for decades. And yeah, it's just never really been revamped or remodeled or anything like that so i wanted the outside to look a little bit more run down a little bit 
I guess shabbier if that makes sense so the like wooden paneling is a little bit worn down part of the build is actually made out of that cool corrugated iron that we got with I think Strangeville I think that one came with Strangeville so yeah I have that I have the metal roofs and all of that stuff so I really had a lot of fun just doing it in this style it's not a style that I do all that often just because it just it I don't feel like it fits anywhere other than maybe Strangeville and then this particular area of Brindleton Bay and maybe in the Spice District it could also fit there but honestly it's just it's not a style that I'm super I guess familiar with building and I always feel like my builds end up looking the same because I don't tend to like stray out of my comfort zone too often when it comes to building but yeah like I said I was just I had a really big burst of inspiration so I wanted to take advantage of it and do a lot of building when you know while I was feeling it and I wanted to do something that wasn't in my comfort zone too much so yeah that's what that's how I came up with this build but basically the interior uh, I can't speak I just I need to breathe and like just take it a little bit slower I don't need to talk that fast but basically the interior on the first floor we have the main bar area so there's a couple of like bar height chairs there's a couple of picnic tables as well yes I did use the journey to two picnic tables because they're just great I love them they're probably my favorite picnic table in the game I just I love the fact that they don't have picnic benches like bench seats they have like four separate little stools that your sims sit on and I just I love the way they look I love their textures so I did use journey to be two in this build sue me I mean it's for my save file and I don't pack restrict my save file builds at all because my save file isn't pack restricted so I just use whatever I feel like works and in this case journey to be two actually worked so yeah there you have it but anyway so yeah the first floor is just the main bar area a couple of seating areas obviously for the bar we have the outside dining space that I don't think I've done yet. I think I do that in a little bit. But yeah, we have an outside dining area that's basically supposed to be like the restaurant area. In my head, you know, it would be maybe two separate businesses or maybe they're owned by the same like like same by the same sim or whatever or same family. But they can that in my head, obviously you can't do it this way in the sims, but in real life they would function at the same time obviously so you would have a restaurant open and you would have a bar but they would kind of be separate so if you have someone that's coming to visit specifically the restaurant then they would sit outside if you're coming if you're someone that's just coming here for like a drink then obviously you would sit inside stuff like that but anyway yeah so we have the outdoor dining area for the restaurant we also have the kitchen on the first floor and I actually used the dine out like uh, not stove but the chef station that goes in the wall so I really like the way that looks so in my head you would the server would pick up the food on the outside because obviously all of the diners would be outside so you pick up the food outside and you know take it to where it needs to be and then on the second floor we actually have a just smaller I guess kind of more intimate sitting area so your sims can go there they can play some foosball they can just chat there's a couple of couches stuff like that just a nice relaxing like space that's away from the main hustle and bustle of the bar if that makes sense and then we also have the bathrooms upstairs which are really really simple there's just two toilet stalls two sinks and that's it so yeah that's basically the build but I also actually turned it into a cat friendly build so I think it's like cat friendly and then the other lot type like lot trait I guess that enables sims to yeah the cat friendly one is the one that enables sims to come visit a lot with their pets so in this case sims would turn up with their cats but there's another lot trait that I can't remember the name of right now that basically enables strays to turn up on a lot so yeah there will be stray cats turning up around this lot as well so i did end up putting a litter box in the back where i like right next to the big dumpster that i added and then in the front i actually end up putting two food bowls so yeah there are food bowls and stuff like that for your cats 
there's also a bunch of different like catchies and stuff inside the build so i end up putting i think two on the first floor and then one smaller one upstairs there's also two like toy boxes so yeah your sims can definitely bring their cats here if that's something that you want to do for whatever reason so yeah it's kind of like a cat bar cat restaurant kind of thing so yeah that's something that i thought was really fun and something that i don't do all that often i don't usually play with pets in my own gameplay either and it's not because i don't like them i think they're done quite well i just tend to forget that they exist and i tend to find it really annoying having to take care of them which sounds really really bad but especially the dogs in the game i find it really annoying having to take them on walks and stuff just because of how i play i don't tend to play super story driven i tend to be more like goal oriented when i do gameplay so having to take care of pets and stuff tends to be a little bit of an issue for me but yeah so we do have a little like cat bar and then in brindleton bay we also have obviously the dog park so there's at least two lots where your sims can go and have them like meet other pets and like meet stray dogs and meet stray cats in case you want to have them like adopt a stray or something like that then yeah that's something that you, that you can do but back to my like building inspiration last week i actually did two builds in brindleton bay last week i did this build and then i did another build which was actually a cottage that will be out probably next week if yeah probably next week if i'm thinking about it so yeah there's two new builds in brindleton bay so i'm actually making progress both are for my save file obviously so yeah we're actually making progress with brindleton bay i only have a couple of lots left to do in it but my first version of my save file is almost done i have a couple of more things to finish so there's a bunch of behind the scenes stuff i'm not completely done with the behind the scenes you know set up i guess i could say of the sims and their stories and all of that stuff but i only have like i basically i have a big mansion in willow creek that i actually continued working on last week as well so i have this really big mansion on the 50 by 50 lot that i started back in i think august of last year and i've been working on it like systematically over the course of a couple of months so i'll go in and i'll do maybe like one room at a time but last week i actually sat down and i furnished most of the first floor basically the first floor is done at this point and then most of the bedrooms are done as well i only have two bedrooms left to finish and then it's completely finished so then i just have to obviously go in and edit it edit it which is going to take me seven centuries because i already have like six and a half hours worth of footage but anyway that's neither here nor there but basically so once that build is done then i will be completely finished with oasis with not oasis springs with willow creek and then i only have one community lot left to do in oasis springs and then my first version of my save file will be done so all of the builds for my first version of my save will then be done if you didn't know my save file is something that i've been working on off and on for the past i'm really embarrassed to say this but probably around five years at this point like i said i i've been working on it off and on you know even before i had my youtube channel so and after i started my youtube channel i decided to go back and like redo a lot of the stuff that i had done previously but basically i work on it very sporadically and it's not something that i focus on too much usually but anyway so the first version of my save file will have oasis springs and willow creek completely finished so all of the sims done all of their stories all of their like traits and careers and all of that stuff will be set up and then all of the builds will be done for those two worlds and then obviously you will have you know random builds in the other worlds as well as i've done them over the years but yes yeah, so i'm really close to getting that first version out and once i have those builds done i just have to do the behind the finish up the behind the scenes stuff and then yeah figure out a way to upload it and all of that fun stuff but i'm so excited to be this close to finished with the first version you guys have no idea i've been wanting to share this thing for so long and i know you guys have been looking forward to it as well so 
yeah keep your eyes out within the next maybe like i don't want to say uh, give you guys a time frame because i suck at like keeping to time frames i'm very much a like mood builder so i have to be in the mood to build something otherwise i just can't do it so i don't want to give you a, like set time frame but maybe within the, ne the next like one to two months maybe either way i will do a video on it once I have it done and once I have it uploaded and you can download it and all of that stuff, I will definitely do a video of it. So like an overview type thing. I'll also probably do a community tab post, obviously. I'll announce it on Twitter, all of that stuff. So yeah, just keep your eyes out if that's something that you're looking forward to. But speaking of my social medias, I don't really plug my social medias all that often. But I do just want to say in case you want to ever want to keep up with channel related things or videos or just real life stuff then definitely go ahead and follow me over on twitter my twitter is always linked in the description and twitter always knows everything first so if anything happens with like real life videos anything like that twitter will always know first and then i also have an instagram but my instagram actually isn't gaming related at all it's totally like book related and book reviews talking about books you know all of that fun stuff so Definitely go ahead and check that out as well if you're into reading or anything like that. It's also more like real life and all of that stuff. It's a, I guess it's a different side of my personality than what I show on YouTube and Twitter most of the time. It's definitely not family friendly. It's most definitely 18 plus. Like it's very, it's very not, very much not for younger viewers. My YouTube channel isn't really like family friendly either. I do try and keep it as advertiser friendly as possible but my twitter also isn't family friendly i curse and all of that stuff but instagram is just a whole other beast so yeah fair warning you have been warned but if you want to go and check it out it's linked in the description <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this build if you did give the video a like if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more sims content then feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. I hope you're all having a great day and that you've had a great weekend and I'll talk to you on my very next video. Bye everyone! Just fall